Does anyone even remember the 2006 remake of the Pink Panther? Yeah, I didn't think so. I have what you might call a biased opinion on the film, as it was kind of the only thing I got to watch as a kid. Throughout my childhood, I'd always assumed that it was a good movie. As my parents, siblings, and myself, we always liked it. We'd laugh at every joke, and we'd rewatch the movie again and again. So it wasn't until a few months ago when I... was... When I was uh, watching WatchMojo.com. Okay, this was before they ran out of things to make lists about and started making lists such as best airline crashes in movies. Anyway, in the video they said something about how terrible Steve Martin's Pink Panther was. Steve Martin was full on lowbrow. Shockingly, this remake managed to spawn an even more atrocious sequel. After that, I took it upon myself to check up on the Rotten Tomatoes score of the film just to prove how wrong WatchMojo was. So needless to say, I wanted to defend the movie by giving it a rewatch. I mean, critics have been wrong before. After rewatching The Pink Panther, I can officially say that I hate it. It's not as bad as I expected it would be on a rewatch. It certainly wasn't good, but it was still pretty funny. Okay, maybe I have a juvenile sense of humor, but still, I am a known supporter of bad cinema. Except I'm not really known at all, so there's that. It's a remake of a 1963 classic. So, the movie starts with the murder of a famous French soccer coach, who also happens to be the owner of the Pink Panther Diamond, which is a comically large and stupid looking diamond that everyone's obsessed with, for some reason. Wanting to take all the glory for solving the murder himself, the chief inspector of the French police or something like that anyway, his job description really doesn't matter. Whose name is... something? Anyway, he assigns a bumbling police officer, played by Steve Martin, to solve the case, while he actually solves the case in the background. So blah blah blah, Steve Martin solves the case, improves his worth, he's a really good detective, who despite his flaws is awesome in his job. Oh, by the way, spoilers. I thought, after seeing the abysmal score in Rotten Tomatoes, that returning to the film, looking at it from a critical standpoint, I'd hate it. Point blank. That wasn't really the case. Which honestly makes me nervous about my own intelligence because it's not a good movie. I can tell you that right away. The comedy is juvenile. I knew it was a bad movie. In the same way that when you take a test and you give the wrong answer, you vaguely know it's wrong but you think it's right, so you just kind of go with it. The one issue I did have that severely crippled my ability to fully enjoy this movie was the fact that when someone did something, nobody reacted to it. A few times they'd make a face or groan, but in general, no one in the movie reacted to anything. It's like this. If you press this button, something bad will happen. So don't press it. I pressed it. So anyway, how was your weekend? It's like that. The character isn't supposed to do something, they do it anyway, and then the person who just told them not to do it is okay with it. Uh, take a look at this clip, which describes exactly what I'm talking about. True, sir. Oh, yes. I need your help. Now it's very important that you remain calm and you do not turn around. Remain calm, do not turn around. Behind you in the casino are the gas mask bandits. Wow, the definition of that clip was horrible. Ugh. Anyway, overall, I think the Pink Panther probably merits the exact Rotten Tomatoes rating it got. This is not a very good film, but I just liked it because it basically made up my entire childhood, film-wise. If you enjoy the slapstick parts of Borat, you'll probably get at least a few laughs here. And yes, I did just compare Borat to the Pink Panther remake. So what do you think of this video? I just thought I'd try my hand at the whole YouTube thing as the alternatives are going to Vine. What are those? Anyway, click on the left to subscribe and click on the right to see more of my stuff.